Hello, hello again, friends and family, beautiful people. I hope you all are doing fantastic. Today, we're going to be cooking one of my family's all time favorites. It is curry rice. Yes, but with my own little tweak and twist, special touches here and there, I think you're going to absolutely love it. Can't wait to begin. Let's wash our hands. I have five cups of jasmine rice. This is long grain and fragrant. You, but you can use any long grain rice you have. Six small shallot onions, thinly sliced, and one tablespoon of my homemade garlic paste right here. One tablespoon of my homemade all-purpose seasoning, which resembles chicken or vegetable bouillon, so you can use one cube of whichever one you prefer. A quarter teaspoon of crushed black pepper. Sea salt to season. Here is my homemade curry powder. I've already shared this recipe and it's linked below. We're going to need a tablespoon and a half of this beautiful ingredient. We also need some chicken broth or chicken stock. I have a cup and a half. We also need some ghee. Ghee is clarified butter. It is very, very delicious, fragrant, and it's really going to help maximize the flavors here. That's it. Let us cook, beautiful people. The pot goes on medium fire to start with. Here is the ghee. I have one heaping tablespoon full of it and about a half. We're going to let that melt. I'm going to add my onions right now. Salt, my crushed black pepper. Also going to add my all-purpose seasoning right now. Let's give it a quick stir. We're going to cook these onions and the ingredients in there until the onions are caramelized. Here is the curry powder. And we're using a tablespoon and a half. We want to be forthcoming with the curry powder. We are making curry rice after all, but you can use less if you want. And once you've achieved an excellent caramelization of the ingredients, then you can go in with your garlic paste, because you do not want to add that too early on. It'll burn and we are not looking for bitterness today. And that can happen if it goes in too early and it burns. Now, do you see how clear the water is from washing the rice? All the starches are now gone, so we will get those fluffy grains of rice in the end. When it's incorporated, the moisture from the rice, from washing the rice, will help deglaze the bottom of the pot and remove all those caramelized bits in the bottom. Now we're toasting till the rice grains are nice and dry. And here is our chicken broth. So we're going to stir that in as well. It's going to help us deglaze the bottom of this pan because there are some really flavorful bits left there. We need to lift all that up. And all that caramelization from the onions with the curry incorporated helps to yield incredibly robust flavors. That's what curry is. So you can imagine, only imagine, how warmly inviting the aromas and the tastes are right now. Cover with parchment paper and the lid. And cook on low to medium heat for 20 minutes. We let it cook for 20 minutes. Let's go now and check and see what's going on. Now you can see the rice, it looks packed. All the grains look packed. We want to fluff it up with a fork so that it's no longer packed, rather filled into the pot. So there is air in between the grains to allow them to cook fluffy and not packed together into a mush. Now it's just a matter of cooking on your lowest heat setting until all the grains of rice are cooked through with no crunchy grains. 
Now, because curry rice is such a rich and robust dish, we're going to need a final garnish to bring that much needed crunch and brightness to the end of the dish. So I have just sliced thinly some fennel and I am now removing the fronds. The fronds are really the best part. They serve well as a garnish. They're so pretty because they have that grassy look to them. So I prep them separately, give them a rough chop and set them aside. And I'll show you how I will be incorporating it in this quick stir fry of my vegetables. I also have my jalapeno chili, which is an optional ingredient. Now with this stir fry of vegetables, you may use your favorite vegetables. Just make sure it has some color to it because you want to be able to garnish and make it look really good in the end. Now I'm also slicing thinly some white onions and then I have the red cabbage as well. I think the colors put together will really look good in the end. Keep on watching friends. I'm going to stir fry these vegetables under two minutes. I start off first with some olive oil and then I throw in my onions to begin with, followed by the jalapenos and then some salt, my all-purpose seasoning and crushed black pepper. You may use any kind of seasoning and spices on your vegetables that you love, but these flavors work so well together. Now it's been about 45 seconds, that's it. I'm going to add the fennel. I want to retain the crunchiness because that's really important. So, so toss that up and down to get everything well combined and add your red cabbage if you're using that. I don't know why they call this red cabbage because it looks purple to me. <laughs> so yeah, toss it up and down. Under two minutes, this should be done. Nice, crunchy, fresh, and bright to garnish our rice. How pretty are these colors? So, so stunning. Done. Remove off of the range. The rice should be done cooking too. It's been about 15 minutes. So let's check on that. Perfect. I remove it off of the range to stop it from cooking further because we still want that crunch and checking on the rice and look at how fluffy it is. How stunning is this? Let me give you a quick description of the taste to encourage you to try this recipe, to get you running into that kitchen to prepare your curry rice. Those savory spices such as cumin, turmeric, ginger, fennel seeds, all of those combined create the deepness and earthiness in the flavors. They're also kind of sweet spices, so they're nice and warm and they bring that brightness and of course a little pizzazz. Just look at the colors right now. The color of the rice is nice and brightly yellow and with the stir fry vegetables on top of it just really makes it pop. Friends, I really hope that your appetite is through the roof right now and you're feeling encouraged and also inspired to try this recipe. I thank you for joining us today in the Navis Kitchen, spending your quality time with me. I appreciate you all so, so much. God bless you all. Make it a great day, friends and family, and have fun, especially in that kitchen. See you pretty soon on my next one. You all know what time it is. Shop time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>